Hello everyone, Ian here at Able Cine in Burbank. Today I'm taking a look at how to use the Red Epic menus when it's inside a Gates housing. Specifically, I want to look at how to use Canon EF lenses when we have it in the housing. Because we get requests, uh, questions about how to change iris, how to do playback, things of that nature. And we've been doing a lot of commercials lately where they want to keep the camera operator and the housing submerged, but we want to send a signal through the proprietary BNC connection on the housing topside to a high definition monitor so the director or producer can see playback. So we're gonna go into the menus on the five inch LCD and we're going to set that all up. Now, because this five inch LCD is enclosed in the Gates housing, we can't go in and navigate our menus like we would traditionally with the camera. So we're gonna rely on these user keys on the side here, plus the plunger on the side to do record on off to set up the camera so that we can record on off, playback, check iris, change iris, check other camera settings, and also be able to do our focus and our zoom settings. Now, a lot of menu operations can be done with the red moat. So this is really an alternative if you don't have access to a red moat, or you just wanna simplify things by having some big keys here or big buttons to push if you're wearing heavy gloves underwater. If you're not familiar with the Gates housings, just wanted to show you this close up so you can see how everything interconnects. I have the 16 to 35 connected to my Epic and I have a focus and a zoom gear attached. The back zoom gear is actually a Gates manufactured gear. And if you go on their website, they have a list of all the different uh, lens combinations that can be used on the housings with different cameras. And they also have a full range of different gears to interface with those types of lenses. Attached to the housing, I have these drive shafts and a uh, support rod that's holding each of these gears, which then in turn interconnects with the gear on the lens. If I turn this knob on the outside of the housing, you can see that now I'm changing the focus. I can do the same thing on the other side of the housing to change my focal length. I have everything powered up and now I can go ahead and start doing some menu navigation. In order to do that, I am going to select button number three. And as you can see, I can scroll to each individual station and select something. So let's try changing the frame rate first. So I'm going to push in on button one, select it, and now I can scroll through and I could set it up for a high speed shot, let's say. I'm gonna take it back to 2398 press select, and there you go. Now let's say for instance I want to go and I want to change the iris setting on my lens. So go to that, press select, and now I can scroll and expose up, expose down. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna select it, and number four, I put my exposure check. So there's my exposure. And let's say I wanna do a take of this. I'm going to press in on the plunger on the right-hand side of the housing. And I push in, and there I am, a recording. I'll put my hand up here. There's my hand, okay. And I'm gonna push in on the plunger one more time. And we have stopped. I'm gonna go on the left-hand side of the housing, and I'm gonna push down on the lever. And that's gonna put me in my preview playback mode. I'm going to push up on the lever and the shot plays back. There's the progress bar and there's my hand. Okay, I want to go live again, so I'm going to push down on the lever and we're back live. That wraps up my tour of how to set up keys on the Red Epic when using the Gates housing. I realize that you might need to set up these keys to function the way you need for a particular circumstance. I just wanted to give you a general overview of how we like to use this with this particular camera and housing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.